Just put some tape in the middle. Yeah, I've got to paint a load of white trees. So I can do this and then just sort of see how it comes out. So I just go for something like this. Just go, just add some little shapes here. Just do this. I'm actually using white gesso, which is also acrylic. But, um, right now, it's fun. I think I'm quite happy with the way they look for now. I mean, you could go in there and add a lot more detail, but. I'm gonna, this is to be the first one I've tried like this, so I'm just gonna peel this off. Obviously it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but... I don't know if, I think I'll come down to about there. I didn't want it to go right to the bottom. Something like that, we're gonna go here. That crosses over there, and there's a couple coming out there and there. It comes out there, and there's a one that sort of does that. I want to create some, just some. Let's show you my YouTube channel for those that don't know. There's my YouTube channel. Visual fusions, pain and art. Look, there's Bob and Brenda. So actually the last video I posted was today and it was Mount June. Um, so there you go, there's everything on there. Everything, there's even a picture of me there. Today, so yeah, I'm gonna put some liquid clear on all over this basically, all over the top of it. A little bit of yellow, maybe some Indian yellow as well. We'll just see how it goes. So I guess going to be yellow. And we're gonna go, look at this, look. Just a little bit, of littlest bit of yellow. And it's gonna bring all these sort of things alive. Let's just try a tad of Indian yellow, just a tad, just a tad. That's it, just at the tops there. It's just a little bit brighter. I'm, not, I'm using, honestly, the smallest amount of paint. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice, that Indian yellow. I'm gonna come around here. So I've got some phalo blue now, a little bit of phalo green. Starting with this, with this sort of blue here. Touch of green. I'm gonna go somewhere about here. Somewhere about here. Here. Look at this, look. thank you, thank you everyone for sending the gifts, honestly. Well, I'm gonna come down with some green, some blue. I'm mixing a little bit of green and blue together now, and it's a little paint, so. There we go. And hopefully sort of, sort of blend them together around this sort of area. There we go, like just blend them. And same here. Blend, blend, blend. So it sort of mixes them colors together. That's it, and then we're gonna go sort of dark. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Prussian blue, which I haven't used for a long time, I don't think. Thanks everyone for the gifts tonight. I really appreciate it. It's, uh, very nice of you guys. 
Going into some Prussian blue now, which is obviously a dark color. There we go. Look at that, it's a darker blue at the top. Isn't that pretty amazing? I'm gonna to go to the dark blue down here again and just continue this down here. There we go. I wanna create a little bit of mist, just a little bit around here. So I'm just gonna, just a little bit. Higher in places, lower and lower in places. I'm gonna miss that out now. Let's go something like this. Okay, let's just create some. Just a little bit of mist that plays across there. some gentle strokes over that. Right now we can lay in some snow basically. It's gonna be some snow. It's gonna pick all the colors up underneath. We just need to sort of create some kind of little thing, you know, a little sort of snow area. There's the middle of the painting, so I'm gonna stick around there. We're gonna come all the way across here. Make some some just up against the edge of the trees. See it's picking up all them colours underneath. Let's go, that's just a big, big one that comes across there. Might have come down there like that. Let's go in here. Like I said, we can keep adding layers layers and layers of snow. Let's go something like that. And just do a little, we can just have it coming down here like that. So it sort of comes, comes out this way. Look at that nice thick oil paint going on there. Picking up all them colours. Just get some kind of sheen in there. There we go. Any Bob and Brenda brushes or have they, or they're one of a kind? Yeah, one of a kind. Yeah, but you can get t-shirts with them on and cups and stuff like that. They're definitely one of a kind. Yeah, I think this are probably, these two are probably more, worth more money than my paintings when I'm, when I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can get um, all sorts of stuff on the website. And if you ever fancy a print from the website and you think you fancy and you fancy a print or something, just send me a message because I can sort it out like that. I'm Here's my signature. There we go, that's all done. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I like that. 